Thank you. I don't know what it is with Fine Gael and uh, these free tickets. If it's not Kylie Minogue they're looking for, it is, uh, uh, it is uh, Christy Moore. The United Nations 16 Days of Activism begins on the 25th of November, International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women and, the, and ends on the 10th of December, Human Rights Day. Human trafficking, a 150 million global industry, billion global industry, is one of the greatest examples of violence against women and girls. As well, millions of women and girls are forced to marry and to work in terrible conditions for little pay or no chance of education. Ireland's actions against trafficking in human beings submission by the Irish Human Rights and Equality Commission to the Council of Europe Group of Experts on Action Against Trafficking in Human Beings report came out in October. According to that report, Ireland is both a destination and a transition country for trafficking in persons. Overall, more women than men are trafficked in Ireland, and almost all are migrants. Certain sectors, such as hospitality, fishing, agriculture and construction, may rely on the workforce of people who are in vulnerable situations. At the same time, victims of trafficking for sexual exploitation are almost exclusively migrant women. Trafficking for the purposes of sexual exploitation in Ireland is highly gendered. Based on, these, on the sources to date, it is established that at least 34 minors were trafficked in Ireland since 2013, mostly girls. The UN Special Rapporteur on the sale and sexual exploitations of children, including child prostitution, child pornography and other child sexual abuse material, visited Ireland in May 2018, published a report on our visit in November 2019. In her conclusion, the Rapporteur... <laughs> oh, apologies. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. In her report, the Rapporteur pointed to a lack of a dedicated and integrated strategy to respond to sexual violence against children. She further noted gaps in data gathering, barriers within the criminal justice system and the need for care and recovery service to be bolstered around the country so that services available to child victims are timely and continuous. IHREC recommends that the state works with the Central Statistics Office to develop a methodology for collecting uniform and reliable data on the scale and different forms of sexual abuse and exploitation of children in line with the recent recommendations of the UN Special Rapporteur Report on the sale and sexual exploitations of children. So maybe if we can get the Minister for Justice um, to have a debate on this very serious concern that this country has. It's, it's awful to think that 34 children in our country have been trafficked in, in, here since uh, 2013. Thank you. Um, Sharon Kilgan talked this morning um, about violence against women and the 34 minors um, that were trafficked in the last number of years in Ireland. Do you know for me the most shocking thing about that, if it wasn't shocking enough in itself, was the fact that it was two women that were trafficking those young women or those young girls in Ireland. I just couldn't for the life of me get my head around the fact that how a woman would use a young girl or woman um, in that particular industry. But you've asked for a debate and I will certainly organise it. It'll probably be in the new year, but I'll do it as quickly as I can. 